in, the more points you're going to get. Now, uh, the person with the most points at the end of each game is going to be the winner. But top three places are getting prizes today. Third place is going to get $5 to Boro Resale, which is a fantastic resale shop that is in the Eastern Market area. Still not quite uh, having customers in the shop yet, but you can go on their Instagram, which there is uh, not a link, but you can see her Instagram handle uh, in the description of the video. Also, second place is going to get that same $5 to Boro and $5 to Golden Fleece, if you've heard me say before, is my favorite Greek restaurant in Greek town, so definitely check them out. And first place is getting both of those things and a free walking tour with yours truly. All right, what do you say? You guys ready out there? For the last time, you can't, I can't hear you. Hold on. Just, uh, I didn't turn the mic on right away. It was very beginning. People missed out on the first time. Live audio. Oh, well, we've apparently had some audio issues, but they appear to be rectified. So let's get started with uh, the question. Oh, yeah. Also, in between games, <laughs> uh, we're going to do something called Ask John. Now, in the past, we've done it where you put in the, the questions right as I ask for them, but let's put them in now so then I will have questions waiting for me when it comes time in between the games. So, on to question one. What downtown, what downriver city uh, did MC5 come from? Is it A, Riverview? Is it B, Ecorse? Is it C, Trenton? Or is it D, Lincoln Park? MC5, a garage rock band from the area, but which city exactly is it? Correct answer there is D, Lincoln Park. Let's see how many of you guys got that right. 39% of you got that right. Way to go. I thought that was a tough one. All right, on to question two. In what downtown building will you find the late night venue City Club? Is it A? Music Hall? Is it B, the Leland Building? Is it C, the David Stott Building? Or is it D, the Archdiocese of Detroit? We're looking for where you'll find a city club. It's like a gothic techno club, is how I would describe it. You ever seen the movie Blade? It's very similar to the, the Vampire Nightclub. But the correct answer is. B, the Leland Building, which also has apartments. And just to give you an idea of the quality of the apartments, one of my friends, actually uh, the guy that designed the poster for this trivia, he moved out of there to move into his van because it got too bad. So, shout out to the Leland. <laughs> On to question three. What movement is the large circular statue in Hart Plaza a tribute to? Is it A? Women's suffrage? Is it B, labor rights movement? Is it C, civil rights movement? Or is it D, the Stargate movement? It's a big circular one. It's not completed in the top. I'll tell you why in a second. Uh, it is B, the labor rights movement. So it's not completed at the top because although there's labor rights for a lot of people, there aren't for all people. So it's supposed to be striving to do better. 33% of you got that right. Way to go, 33. Uh, that's three questions in the book. So we are going to take a look at our leaderboard here. So again, we're doing, top three are getting paid. So in third place, you've got uh, Anna Silverstein, a familiar face. Second place, Miriam Pransky. I'm sure chomping at the bit to get our hands on those $5 to borrow. And in first place is K-Curb. So we got 22 players. Not too bad. Make sure you tell your friends for next week. Question four, how long is the central business district, also known as downtown? Is it A, 5.2 miles? Is it B, 1.4 miles? Is it C, 2.6 miles? Or is it D, 3.1 miles? This is of course square miles, not just a straight line. Correct answer there is B, 1.4 square miles. So we're pretty small, pretty small area. But if it's too big, you can always take the people mover. <laughs> It'll take you much longer than if you just walked. All right, on to question five. Which of these restaurants is not in Midtown? Is it A, Street Beat? Is it B, Green Dot Stables? 
Is it C, Campus Diner, or is it D, Harmony Garden? These are all restaurants that are near and dear to my heart. I guess not that near to my heart, literally, but figuratively, you know what I mean. Correct answer there is B, Green Dot Stables. B, <laughs> the horse themed restaurant. 73% of you guys got that right, and we're moving on. <laughs> Question six. Before being known as the Motor City, what kitchen appliance was Detroit the quote-unquote capital of the world of? Is it A, a stove? Is it B, a waffle iron? Is it C, a trash compactor? Or is it D, a refrigerator? And Detroit's always been known for making things, and this is what it was known for making prior to being known for making cars. And that is A, the kitchen stove. Definitely not the trash compactor that didn't become popular to the 1990s when people decided we've got too much trash, <laughs> but we're unwilling to use less stuff. We'll just compact the trash. I haven't seen a trash compactor in probably 15, 20 years, though. 43% of you knew that. Way to go. There's not another tough one there. Not tough enough, apparently. All right, that's another three questions in the book. Let's take a look at these leaderboards. First place, Anna Silverstein. Way to go, Anna. 472 points. Second place, my boy Jimmy Howard, goalie for the Red Wings. Back in action, 416 points. And third place is K. Serb or K. Curb, something like that. Miriam Pranchke still in fourth. Uh, <laughs> Harold Dong is in there. <laughs> Justin Bookmeyer is 14th. Uh, also, I know my buddy Connor is playing. I'd like to give a very special hello to Harper. Hi, Arbor. It's your first time playing. Welcome to the show. Hope you'll be enjoying uh, your summer. All right, let's get back to the question. Question seven. Which of these roads begins in Detroit and ends in, Grand, ends in Lansing? Is it A, Woodward? Is it B, Grand River? Is it C, Joy? Or is it D, Michigan? I believe it turns into... Either Oakland or Oakwood Street in Lansing. If that helps you, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Correct answer is B, Grand River. All right, 70% of you got that right way to go. Pretty easy one. Question eight. In what city is Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum? Is it A, Plymouth? Is it B, Novi? Is it C, Livonia? Or is it D, Farmington Hills? One of my favorite attractions in all of Metro Detroit. So I kind of coin-operated all kinds of gizmos. Fortunately, Marvin passed away a few years ago, but it is still in operation. Correct answer is you'll find it in D, Farmington Hills. If you've never been, definitely check it out. It's a very cool, unique thing to do in the metro area. 52% of you knew that. Way to go. It's actually on the sign on 96, I think. Maybe that's how you guys knew Question nine. Which of these is the state reptile of Michigan? Is it A, a painted turtle? Is it B, an eastern milk snake? Is it C, a sketched turtle? Or is it D, reptile from Mortal Kombat? And if you don't remember him, he's the green ninja. <laughs> Correct answer there is A, a painted turtle. Yeah, Reptile was the Green Ninja. They didn't get super creative when they were doing the character designs in Mortal Kombat. The Green Ninja, with Scorpion, the yellow one. Get over here! With Sub-Zero, all just the same guy, just different colors on, in the main fight. 78% of you need to stay Reptile in Michigan. Way to go. Or you're able to figure it out. Either way, great job. That is another three questions in the book. So let's take a look at this leaderboard. Oh, we have a little shake up here. Anna Silverstein still in first with 655 points. K Serb or K Curb, I don't know who that, what that is, but it's 597 points, doing great. Uh, in third place, Mike Hawk has jumped onto the leaderboard. Way to go, Mike, in line for that $5 to borrow. Got some funny names. We got Hackensack in there. Kevin Kleps, welcome to the game. Sammy Barbar, well, welcome back. My sister, Sarah Young, is in there. So, hey, sister, thanks for playing. Let's get back to the action. Question 10. What former president was offered a contract with the, with the Detroit Lions? Is it A, George H.W. Bush? Is it B, Ronald Reagan? Is it C, Gerald Ford? Or is it D, 
Franklin Delano Roosevelt. So he's, this person was offered a contract for the Lions and the Packers, turned them both down, and that is Gerald Ford. You don't get why the FDR was a joke. You need to study more history. You get fully and was confined to a wheelchair. So maybe in bad days. 87% knew Gerald Ford was a potential Detroit Lion. Question 11. In what Detroit neighborhood would you find an Amtrak station? Is it A, North End? Is it B, Lafayette Park? Is it C, Downtown? Or is it D, New Center? Maybe you've taken the train to Chicago. You can also take it to Royal Oak, I guess, if you want. You can take it to Ann Arbor. Where do you start from? And the correct answer there is D, New Center. So it used to be out of the old train station until 1987. The last train rolled out of there. And they moved to New Center where they are now. 50% of you knew it. Way to go. Question 12. Which of these coffee shops is not in downtown Detroit? Is it A, the Roasting Plant? Is it B, the Urban Bean? Is it C, Ash Supply Company? Or is it D, Great Lakes Coffee Roasting? This one is not in the, now you know, 1.4 square miles of downtown. And that one just so happens to be D, Great Lakes Coffee Roasting, which is one of the top performing coffee roasters in the nation. This is a inside joke for Nick and I. Sorry, you guys, the rest of you are missing out. Question 13. What year did Slow's Barbecue open, the original? Is it A, 2009? Is it B, 2003? Is it C, 2005? Or is it D, 2007? And they opened up and it really kind of kick-started this latest wave of Corktown development. And that was in A, 2000, oh, sorry, C, 2005. I believe that one's actually 2009. Something got messed up there, so we'll have to figure that out. Uh, but yeah, so it really spurred us development without it existing. A lot of the restaurants that you see there today, uh, I don't think it'd be there. All right, so from here on out, we're going to take a look at the leaderboard after ever, every question. And so you, let's do that now. In third place, Hackensack jumped up to third place. Second place, k Serb in the mix there, 834 points. In first place, Anna Silverstein with 890 points. Tim Guerin, Baby Love is in the mix. Way to go, Baby Love. Andy Bisky, Lobster. Fifth place, way to be back. Andy Lobster Bisky. All right, question 14, two to go. Who coined the phrase, say nice things about Detroit? Is it A, Stephanie Bluster? Is it B, Judith Breeze? Is it C, Emily Gale? Or is it D, Meredith Squall? Popular saying, it's on a lot of t-shirts, bumper stickers, mugs. I've seen it on pencils. Never a pen though, I don't know why. Correct answer is C, Emily Gale. She blew her way into Detroit marketing in 1970s. In the 1970s, she had a shop downtown. 48% of you know Emily's name, way to go, or at least guess right, that guess is good. All right, let's take a look at this leaderboard one last time before uh, going to our final question. Third place, Miriam Pranchke in line for $5 to borrow resale. Second place, Anna Silverstein, 890 points. Jumping up to first place, k or K-Curb. I don't know how, to, how you want me to say that. Uh, Harold Dong is in fifth place. BB's in the mix. Jared Bookmeyer. What's up, Jared? Jared. Kevin Cleggs, I think that's a new name. Omar, man, last place, buddy. What's going on? 23rd. All right, let's get to the final question of game one. You guys ready? In what year did Hitsville, USA become the official site of the Motown Museum? Is it A, 1989? Is it B, 1985? Is it C, 1996? Or is it D, 1991? Obviously, the building was there, but it wasn't actually the Motown Museum until this year. And that year happens to be my birth year, B, 1985. See how many of you guys knew that one? 38%. Let's see if that changed anything with our leaders here. 
In third place, getting five dollars of Boro. Congratulations, Miriam Pranchke. Woo, Miriam. Second place is K Serb, 921 points. First place is Anna Silverstein, getting both gift certificates to Golden Fleece and Boro and a free walk tour with me. Way to go, Anna. All right, so I'm going to grab my phone. Let's see if anybody put in any questions. Have my phone on me this time, not like last week. There we go. Let's see what you guys are talking about. Beach or city break? Asked Sarah Coop. Hmm. I'm going to go with beach right at the moment. I'm pretty warm, so I'd be love, I'd love to get into a, an ocean. But city breaks are fantastic, too. And what do you use the term city break there, Sarah? All right. Brett Crandall says the lighting situation is much better this week. <laughs> you can thank uh, Christina for that. She's helping me out. She doesn't want to put her name on it. She says it's not quite good enough. Next week, I'll have a link to all her, all her good stuff. Uh, no sound. Yeah, we, we fixed that. Justin Bookmeyer says, how many hours have you spent playing guitar here in your life? And I'm going to say this, Bookmeyer, probably the same as you. So I don't know what you think you're talking about because we were playing side by side. So screw you. Daisy or Peony? Peony, okay, I'm gonna correct it here. I don't know what a peony is offhand, so I'm gonna go Daisy. They're growing out, well, most plants are growing outside, <laughs> Christina, that doesn't help me much. <laughs> Angela Bisky, where did you get my haircut? Great question, because I did mean to give a shout out to my boy, Garrett Johnson, who's kind enough to come over and give me this nice ear lowering came over last week, and he also just hung out. All right, well, that's enough questions from you guys. Sound of that beer opening means it's time for game two. Let's see here, question one. What modern Detroit neighborhood is located in the same space that was once Black Bottom neighborhood? Is it A, Green Acres? Is it B, Hubbard Richard? Is it C, Lafayette Park? Or is it D, Midtown? So it was there until it was demolished, and I put in I-375, which is a hint for you. The correct answer is C, Lafayette Park. So that is along with the installation of I-75 uh, near Mexican Town. Those are two minority neighborhoods in Detroit that were displaced uh, for quote-unquote development. So which is one of the many system, systemic things that have happened in Detroit and in the country. So definitely make sure you scroll down, check out that link, and see how you can get involved in uh, changing the world for a better. All right, on to question two. Whose stake in the Ambassador Bridge did Maddie Maroon buy in 1979? Is it A, John Rockefeller? Is it B, Warren Buffett? Is it C, Henry Ford II? Or is it D, Jimmy Buffett? We're looking for whose stake in the Ambassador Bridge Maddie Maroon bought in 1979. I think it was about a 30% stake, if I remember correctly. And that was D, Jimmy Buffett. So he sold it to Matty Maroon for a shaker of salt, which he then lost. Just kidding. It was his cousin, Warren. I bet you didn't know that they were cousins, did you? You want to know why? Because they're not. Question three. <laughs> Only 25% of you knew that. Wow, I thought that was going to be an easier one. Shout out to the one person that said Jimmy Buffett. Wait a minute, I like that. I love you. All right, question three. Which of these Mexican restaurants is not located in Mexican town? Is it A, Las Cazuelas? Is it B, Los Galanes? Is it C, Zoshimilco? Or is it D, El Zocalo? And for the one that's not in Mexican town, it's not terribly far outside of what is known as Mexican town, but it's definitely not in Mexican town. And that is A, Las Cazuelas. So it's not in Mexican town, but it is in a gas station, which is fantastic because you get all sorts of choices for beverages. You can also fill up with premium while you're there. Any, any number of things can happen. 56% <laughs> of you got that one right. Way to go. Never been to Las Cazuelas. Wait, next time you're on E, head on down to the gas station. <laughs> Grab me a Mexican pizza. I love that thing. 
All right, that's three questions in the books for, for game two. Let's take a look at this leaderboard. First place, Miriam Pransky jumping to the top. Second place, Harold Dong. I, I might be pronounced Dong. I think it's Dong. Harry Dong. And third is K Serb. I like someone that is goofy enough to put <laughs> that name, but also smart enough to get it correct to get second place. Way to go. So it's a good juxtaposition of two things here. Kevin Cleggs is still there. Tim, Tim Baby Love Gearin is in the mix. My sister, Sarah Young. Not one thing she, she's in the mix because she has zero points. What's going on, Sarah? Embarrassing the family. My mom is playing. Hey, mom. All right. Let's go back to the action here. Question four. What casino used to operate in the building now occupied by Detroit Public Safety Headquarters? Is it A, Motor City? Is it B, Greektown? Is it C, MGM Grand? Or is it D, Biff Tannen's Pleasure Paradise Casino and Hotel? So, this has been the site of protests for about the last week or so. So there's probably going on one going on currently. And it was C, MGM Grand. They're now located right across the street. Biff Tannen's Pleasure Paradise Casino Hotel you can only find in Hillsdale in, in alternate 1985. 36% of you knew that. Pretty even split there. No one, no one guessed Biff Tannen, huh? Question five. Which of these artists had a song called Detroit City? Is it A, Jay Dilla? Is it B, The Stooges? Is it C, Alice Cooper? Or is it D, Eminem? Looking for the artist with the song Detroit City. And that is C, Alice Cooper. All right, 54%, way to go. Question six here, yeah. What city elected Michigan's first openly gay mayor in 2007? Is it A, Royal Oak? Is it B, West Bloomfield? Is it C, Ferndale? Or is it D, Howell? <laughs> it's definitely D. Correct answer there is, of course, C, Ferndale. So June is Pride Month, so happy Pride Month, everyone. Not, I meant to look it up if Motor City Pride is still operating in some capacity. Not sure if it is or isn't. But if so, definitely check that out. It's always a good time. 80%, wow, way to go. That is uh, three questions in the book. So we're gonna take a look at this leaderboard again, see if anything's changed. Third place, BB. 327 points. Second place, Jimmy Howard, 362 points. Taking some time off the ice to play a little trivia. I like that. First place, Miriam Pranschke. Just holding on. We got some other place, people player. Eric Burson, welcome to the game. I think this is the first time I've seen that name. So, high school counselor. Oh, Nick's high school counselor. He counseled him so well, he's ended up being behind the scenes on an <laughs> online trivia show. So. Guys the winner. That's probably about where he thought you'd be. Yeah. <laughs> that's, what you, that's what you got with your Myers Briggs. So. <laughs> online, online trivia show backstage. Who <laughs> screwed up the audio? Yeah, way to go. All right, let's get back to the action here. Question seven From what downtown church did Martin Luther King Jr. start a march culminating in him giving his I Have a Dream speech? For the first time, is it A, Central United Methodist Church? Is it B, St. John's Episcopal? Is it C, Second Baptist? Or is it D, Mariner's Church? It's a very wordy question there. Probably could have shortened that down a little bit, but I didn't. So here we are. Correct answer is A, Central United Methodist. So a lot of um, history in downtown. So a good choice also would have been Second Baptist Church because that is Detroit's oldest uh, black congregation uh, in, in the state, actually. Started in 1837 by 13 former slaves. William C. Monroe was the name of the first pastor, and that's for whom Monroe Street, which goes up and down Greektown, is named. So seven of you got that right. The rest of you did not. <laughs> on to question eight. What route number does the Woodward bus currently go by? Is it A, three? Is it B, 53? Is it C, four? Or is it D, one? 
looking for the current number of the Woodward bug. E on current there is one of these that used to be, and that was 53, but the correct answer is C, four. <laughs> Get it? Question nine. 20% <laughs> of you guys knew that. Take, take more public transit out there, people. Question nine. Who is the current, what's that? Especially now. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe hold on. Who is the current city clerk of Detroit? <laughs> is it A, I'm a C lurk? <laughs> is it B, that's a Sarah joke. Is it B, Shannon T. Lose pay? Is it, I don't think I already said C, but C, Tina and Oprah? Or is it D, Janice M. Winfrey? Looking for the current, I hopefully you can get this one, and it is Janice M. Winfrey. But I'm a C. Lurk would have been a great name. I, I, had, I had Ivana C. Lurk initially, and Sarah very wisely suggested uh, I'm a. So definitely an upgrade here. 72%. Uh, shout out to the three people that did choose I'm a. <laughs> I'm sure you're doing your best. All right, that's another three in the books. We are going to take a look. Marin Pransky just won't give up that top spot. She's been playing every week. Doing great, but she's never won, so we'll see if she can hold on here. Mike Hawk, way to uh, jump up to second place there. And third place, k -Serb. Interesting name. Good player. Virginia Letelier, back playing again. Welcome to our Letelier. We've never, we've, never, we've never sorted this out between us, how, how you pronounce that. But welcome back again. Thanks for playing. Joey Sullivan, the Doxman, coming in from uh, where he was, Idaho. Who knows? He lives somewhere else. Oregon, is that, yeah. Ashland. He's in Ashland. He's in last place, Joey. Been spending too much time at the old uh, Shakespeare Festival. <laughs> Question ten: What old company has a refinery in Detroit? <laughs> Just off I seventy five. That's oil or oil down in Tennessee. Which is so is it A Marathon? Is it B BP? Is it C, Exxon, or is it D, Shell? It looks like a, when you're driving 75, there's that flame. There's a basketball painted on one of the things. It looks like a map from Call of Duty if you play that game. And on that basketball, you'll see the name of the company, which is A, Marathon. 52% got that right. Way to go. Question 10. 11, I mean. In what city will you find ABC Warehouse Headquarters. Is it A, Pontiac? Is it B, Detroit? Is it C, Southfield? Or is it D, Troy? For the headquarters, they have fantastic commercials. What was it, like 10, 15 years ago? What was that guy's name? Gordy. Gordy, yeah. He would have named his kid sale, but most of the other kids would have made fun of him. Correct answer there is A, Pontiac. This is a tough one. I'm going to say under 30% get this right. Let's check. 27%, I nailed it. Under 30, 15% of you thought Southfield. That's honestly what I thought of. I looked it up. All right, question lucky 13. In what division do the Lions play? Is it A, the AFC North? Is it B, the AFC East? Is it C, the NFC East? Or is it D, the NFC North? They play in this division along with the Green Bay Packers, the Minnesota Vikings, the Chicago Bears. And all of them play in the B, NFC North. All right. You think we're going to win the make it to the playoffs this year? Oh, no. Nah, me neither. But that means they probably will because they always, they're all about subverting expectations. Those guys. Question 13. 14. Oh, you know what? Let's take a look at that leaderboard while we're getting into the end of the game here. Every single time, we'll take a look at the leaderboard. 30. First place, hanging on, Miriam Pransky, doing a substantial lead, 739 points. Second place, 549 points with Sammy Barbour. And third place with 545 points, Mike Hawk. <laughs> Another question for you. On what Detroit streets is Detroit's only Frank Lloyd Wright designed home? Is it A, Seven Mile? Is it B, Art? Oh, 
I'm sorry, question 13. Which of these shows is not set in Detroit? Is it A, Low Winter Sun? Is it B, Hardcore Pawn? Is it C, Mork and Mindy? Or is it D, Detroiters? Well, it's not in Detroit. It'd be funny if it was Detroiter, but it's C, Mark, Mark, and Mindy. So now we'll take a look at this leaderboard. Again, judge of the web, in case you forgot. First place, still hang on, Mir Miriam Pranchke. Second place, Sammy Larbor. Jimmy Howard, sharpening his skates to skate his way to third place. Let's get out of the next question. So you guys got to jump on this one. On what street <laughs> is Detroit's only... <laughs> Frank Lloyd Wright designed home. Is it A, Seven Mile? Is it B, Livernois? Is it C, McNichols? Or is it D, Jefferson? Well, hopefully you got time to Google it real fast. <laughs> and if so, you'll know the answer, which is A, Seven Mile. So hopefully a lot of you guys got this right. I don't condone cheating, but I kind of asked for it did. 28%, tough one. All right, let's take a look at this leaderboard one last time before seeing our final. No surprise, Miriam's actually, I believe, added to her lead. Sam Barbour is still right in that mix there with 670 points. Anna Silverstein's doing great, 639 points. Joey Sullivan got kicked, out of the, got kicked out of the gazebo effect and just found his way at the bottom of a trivia ranking. Should have stayed, stayed loyal, buddy. Question 15. <laughs> in what year? Did the Belle Isle Aquarium open? Is it A, 1904? Is it B, 1917? Is it C, 1885? Or is it D, 1929? So it, along with the conservatory right next door, was designed by Albert Kahn, which might help you if you know what years he was active. And it opened up in A, 1904, actually the oldest aquarium in the country. All right, well, that concludes game two. Took a look at these final leaderboards. I got a feeling Miriam hung on here, but you never know. Yes, she did. First place, getting gift certificate to Boro Resale, to Golden Fleece, and a free walk to with me is Miriam Pransky. Way to go, Miriam. Second place, getting both gift certificates is Anna Silverstein. And third place, getting the $5 to Boro, is Sammy Bar Bar with 670 points. Well, thank you for joining us once again for Herb Appeal Trivia. Hope you had fun. Uh, I know I did. Definitely, while you're here, to click subscribe uh, to the YouTube channel because if you get to a certain number, there's more features I can use. It really helped me out. Also, uh, while you're down in the description, click that link for all those information so I can support uh, the ongoing protest. Well, make sure you tell your friends, your family, your enemies, your cats, your dogs. To join us next week, which we may be switching today, and I'll let you know about social media. Make sure you follow us. But until then, Stay happy, stay healthy, and oh yeah, stay hungry. Bananas, hard man.